We love our children. We want the best for them, to protect them and watch them grow. We're not always successful, but each one of us can work to make life better for all children. UNICEF and Unilever are helping by creating awareness in children and parents about children's rights and providing them with tools to promote positive changes in behavior and reduce cruelty and abuse. Creative expression is the medium being used to raise awareness, which is critical in light of the statistics coming out of a UNICEF 2012 situation analysis of children and women in Trinidad and Tobago. It shows a growing trend in child abuse. Child protection issues uh, are, you can call it sensitive, but at the same time, the more people talk about it, the more the taboos go away. And I think that's what we're trying to do. Child protection and child abuse is in fact a very sensitive issue in today's society. And we as a corporate entity, we need to play our part. And we're working through it with UNICEF to, to, to make a difference in today's society. Creative Joint conducted the workshop and project manager Nadella Riley explains the method. What we did, we used the basic um, convention on the rights of a child, and we used a child-friendly version of that in order to workshop with the children in the first instance. So whenever we went into a school, we made sure to cover those basics, made sure they had an understanding of uh, what children's rights were in general, and specifically Article 19, where it dealt with your right to protection. If it is somebody in school was hurting you, who would you go to? The and if the teacher was one of the people hurting you, who would you go to? So, so what you all have to do is make up a list of all the people that you trust to help you. So once we were in the classrooms or in the workshops with the children and they did their expression, they either painted or they drew, we got them after the fact to choose so they would put up their ideas in most cases on a board or they would hold it up for each other to see and then they would choose the ideas that they thought represented um, the general ideas in the class about child protection so once it is they knew they had to paint on walls they picked the ones that they thought were best to go on walls if they had to um, come up with a script for an ad they would choose the scripts or the ideas that they thought um, express the best idea for their target groups. Don't stab the boy, I go call the police. Nope. nope. No, it's saying violence is against the law. We're looking for the taglines. No? Violence is against the law? Wouldn't get through, why? You would have to. Yeah, have a, better, a better concept to get it in here. Let it out, be brave, be courageous, tell someone. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All of these things we're picking out, what we paint on the wall has to shift something in somebody's life. This increased awareness was a draw for Unilever's support of the project. Greater consciousness of child rights and increased child protection would help the nation's children, and that's part of their mission to create a better future every day. And UNICEF hopes increased responsiveness will support governments and their efforts to treat with abuse. We really need a lot more to be engaging in the issues of child protection, um, lifelong education, starting from early childhood education to secondary level, as well as issues that the governments are trying to grapple with in the region. Unilever is very proud of these efforts and we hope that many children will benefit from the program. In the long run, Unilever is hoping to reach thousands of children and their families and improve their lifestyles through greater awareness. UNICEF has a similar goal and is addressing it through policy development. What we're trying to do in the Eastern Caribbean is to try and have a standard approach by government, so standard policies, um, basic minimum uh, steps that they should take, both in terms of protection as, or prevention, as well as in terms of addressing victims of abuse. 